Hi, welcome to this video. We are going to show you how easy it is to configure a cluster of NetDesk firewall for high availability. The first step is going to log on on one of the members of the cluster. You select your username and enter your password and you log on the management interface. To configure the cluster, you click on the system menu and you launch the wizard directly from the high availability menu. You keep the first shops, create a group of firewall, and you go directly to the next step to select the interface which is going to be used to communicate between the two members of the cluster. You give it an IP address and a network mask in order to ensure that this communication are going to remain private. You could also define a secondary link as a backup. Once done, you click on Next, and the next step is to define a pre-shared key in order to encrypt and decrypt the communication between the two members of the cluster. It ensures the confidentiality of this on this communication. You can check the password strand below and it helps you to define a fair or even a strong password to encrypt this communication. Once this is done, you see a summary of the information you've entered and you can go to the next step. There's no more change on this firewall, so you log on to the second firewall using your username and password and you go to the same menus and previously. So you click on system and once this is done you launch the high availability wizard from the menu. But this time you are going to choose the second choice, join an existing firewall cluster. You click on next and you see the same network configuration. You assign the same interface for the communication between the two members of the cluster. You give it another IP address in the same network range Once this is done, you click on Next. To be able to join the other firewall, you enter its IP address and the pre-shared key you've defined on the first firewall. Once this is done, the two members of the cluster are now able to communicate. So the next step is to plug in the cable between the two firewalls and to reboot Next, you try to join the cluster using its IP address, you log in on the main firewall and you check that the cluster is alive. You can see a high availability icon on the top banner and you see a summary of the information as a widget on the dashboard. Everything is fine, your cluster is set up. Thank you for your attention and you can Join us on YouTube at netas.com if you have any questions regarding this video.